so I already have this guy here lined up ready for drilling. Um, I pretty much just took the measurements on the 10 page, on the 10 plants, drew them out. So out in the garage, I'll go ahead and get all these drilled out. Then I'll go ahead and get the remainder match drilled to that one, uh, with this one being the source of truth for the remainder. Yeah, so I know in the 14 plans, it calls for taking care of the edges here on these nose ribs. Uh, in the 10 plans, it does not call for that, uh, but I do know just from previous parts that these are common points where you end up, you could end up with, um, with, I guess, hard edges on the skin where the skin doesn't want to go all the way around or the skin interferes with the hard edges of each of these flanges here. So, anywho, when I took care of deburring, I went ahead at the same time, did this as well, this process that it calls out in the 14 plans. Again, these are not noted in the 10. Uh, but took care of it because I know it would be an issue. So, yeah, so the 10 plans also don't mention this. Let me get this in frame better here for you. Um, 10 plans don't mention it, but uh, 14 calls for fluting and straightening as required. Uh, the nose rips. So you can see here they mentioned fluting up there, uh, which makes total sense because looking at this rib here, you'll notice uh, the middle is really not happy. It has that big lump on the back side. Here's a fluted one, and it looks much better uh, compared to the unfluted one. Hopefully you can see that on camera that the unfluted one has kind of a notch right down in the middle where it wants a flute but it does not have a flute. So again, probably the 14 build plans uh, is not the source of truth for the 10, uh, but definitely does help to supplement the 10 plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the same flute on all the remaining uh, nose ribs and then we'll get moving from there. We'll probably go outside and uh, do all this match drilling here, probably off camera, uh, but get these out, all match drilled outside. Austin from the future here. I was correct that you should have to, or that you should flute this part here uh, to make that, that part a little more round. Uh, but make sure when you're fluting it, keep it dead centered because in the future, what actually happens is you match drill. So there and there, those two holes did previously, uh, previously did not exist. Uh, so looking on down the line, every nose rib that had that, or every nose rib in general, you are going to end up match drilling um, right on each side of that flute that you create. So that flute also helps to create two individual, uh, two individual pads uh, that kind of land on each side. So anyways, that's what that's for. Back to the video. swamp cooler off temporarily so you can hear me uh, but I have both of them actually all the way to the stage of fully Clico natural and everything this one here I already took off the trailing edge wedge this is now ready for countersinking uh, but I have the other one the right one inside the house in the current state as well we're gonna get both of these disassembled deburred get all the all the services dimpled and uh, we'll get to riveting
All right, you probably saw on camera just now, uh, but countersinking uh, these brackets here for double flush rivets so both sides get countersunk, uh, with the idea being that you'll have a flush rivet, the other side will be driven to be flush on the other side. So in the 10 plans, it doesn't mention it, but the 14 plans, they mentioned creating a tool that kind of spans the width of there and allows that countersink cage to sit on top of it and get perpendicular, get a nice shot at uh, countersinking. And the reason why you need that tool if you're going to use the countersink cage is uh, this raised edge here gets in the way of the cage. So I, in lieu of creating a tool, just freehanded it. So I just took off the cage off of this uh, countersink cutter here. So the cage used to belong here, took it off and then just freehanded it. Ended up perfect. So um, just stopped every once in a while, dropped a rivet in to double check to make sure everything looked good. Um, but I'm content. I'm happy with how it all turned out. You can't tell that I didn't use a cage. Um, so. If I was doing this, I'd, um, if I was doing this again, I'd probably do the same thing of not wasting time building a tool. Uh, Cause if you are careful, you can just freehand all of your countersunk holes. So get back to it. I'll be ending the video here. Um, I know we're getting pretty far into the video, 10 minutes now. Um, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, as you see here, wrapping up here with deburring and dimpling. So next video, we'll get straight into riveting and getting these flaps completed. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.